What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're breaking down the future of heavy weapons in Escape from Tarkov while using some of the new info that we've gotten from a recent Q&A with Nikita, the lead dev of Escape from Tarkov. For those who don't know, there is going to be a wide arsenal of heavy weapons added to Escape from Tarkov in the future, such as shoulder-fired rocket launchers, grenade launchers, belt-fed machine guns, and explosives like tripwire and claymore mines. I go into detail of several of those in a couple different dev videos you'll find in my dev playlist if you're interested. We now have confirmations from Nikita that this grenade launcher is being pushed for 12.7, but no assurances yet. We'll have to wait for the patch notes or even the patch itself to find out, and that should be popping up any day now. Nikita mentioned that this will be a standalone grenade launcher as it will take up its own weapon slot. He also mentioned that it will come with several types of ammunition from high explosive rounds to even a shotgun round. The most interesting thing about this is that in reality, this is not just a standalone grenade launcher. It's actually made for the scar rifle series which we've also seen work in progress shots of recently if i had to guess i would say this of course is a standalone launcher right now but in the future expect to be able to swap it to an underbarrel for the scar and again guys they are trying to get this in for 12.7 which we should be hearing more about or maybe even seeing any day now in the q a linked below nikita discussed a lot about the design decisions made for certain features in escape from tarkov and one of the new pieces of information we got was how heavy weapons are going to work in a game that does not have destructible environments. Nikita confirmed that high explosive weapons will do their damage through a wall, and he specifically referenced the Bunker Buster in Contract Wars as the same effect. I personally never played Contract Wars, and I couldn't find any footage of this, but Nikita's explanations will give us enough info about it. Nikita said that high explosives like the warheads from a rocket launcher or SPG when striking a wall will do their damage on the other side of the wall. This means if you are in a room or otherwise on one side of a wall and the explosive hits that wall, you will get the damage while in that room depending on the payload of the warhead or the explosive. There absolutely will be different effects for different types of explosives and walls, of course. As I understand it, a 40 millimeter grenade launcher should not go through very thick metal and an RPG won't go through feet of solid concrete. So depending on what you're hiding behind, it may not be the end of the world. Another thing mentioned recently is the balance of these weapons. It has been rumored and even discussed by Nikita recently that traders may become in raid only where you will physically need to go to them to purchase items. Whether they all go to in raid only or not, the thought is that by launch there will be at least one if not multiple in raid only traders and the rumor is that that will be the only place to get these heavy weapons. So you will have to match into a raid, go to the trader, buy the items there, and then leave with them alive in order to use them elsewhere. With the amount of risk involved in this, I believe that is actually very reasonable, but we'll have to see what happens. Another thing Nikita mentioned here was the mounted heavy weapons. Mounted weapons will start to pop up on every map, starting with customs, and we've already seen a couple shots of the two new ones in the new construction building, coming with the customs expansion in patch 12.7. Nikita mentioned you used to be able to move the mounted weapons, and he wants to go back to that in the future. He also mentioned that the mortars and SPGs on the map used to be functional as well, but the system to reload them wasn't where they wanted it to be. In the future, these weapons are planned to be returning and there will be an inventory system linked to them, whether it's an ammo box or the weapon itself from which you can place ammo and then reload it. Just as you would a normal weapon with magazines from a vest, it would work like ammo in that box for this heavy weapon. This will also be the case for all weapons, not just the mortar and SPG, but the grenade launcher and heavy machine gun we have now as well. So expect to be hearing more and more about these heavy weapons now as it looks like we are getting the tip of the spear here soon as our first grenade launcher gets pushed for the very next patch. That's all for now guys. Make sure to check out my development playlist to stay up to date with everything Tarkov. If you are looking for people to play with then join our discord below. If you like this video then you know the drill. I really appreciate the people who do. Otherwise I hope you at least learned something and I also hope you have a nice day. See you guys.